Hi, today I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the linear actuator uh, with uh, internal limit switches and uh, I found some of them with a, a reasonable problem uh, as you can see here you have our limit switches uh, with the Zener diodes but in such case the Zener diodes are uh, working in very nice with a 30 some volt uh, motor in here we have 24 volt motor so if I'm uh, now I have a switched that limit switch uh, I'm still delivering some current and, and, and uh, voltage through the Zener diode to the motor so if uh, you will just leave it like that we will not use external limit switches in our controller then you were born something. Maybe controller, maybe this uh, motor, maybe it's fuse. But in, mo in some cases, I can <laughs> tell you that uh, most of you uh, never change the fuses correctly to the motor. Let's have an example. This motor is getting about 1.5 ampere uh, in normal operation. So you cannot use 5, 10 ampere fuse. On the controller because the fuse will be secure but not the motor not the controller okay uh, let's do some wires and let's connect some uh, some devices to see how this work like all right so here we have uh, three things of course I, I just connected straight to the cables to make sure that I'm able to read everything what's going on in here and uh, as we can see I have a controller I have a, a linear actuator uh, of course this de detached to see what exactly is going on and of course the, uh, the power supply mm, in here we have uh, those two limit switches which are not working correctly because of those uh, Zener diodes and let's see what's going on in here when I'm moving so Okay, I just left that position and just opened the, 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 this limit switch so I'm able to, to deal on the north position and in, uh, in that position where I'm north and I just, con it just connect that so I should stop the motor and never put any more current in here and you can see here and here that this is not working like it should work As you can see here, I'm still delivering power in here and this limit switch is not working in correct way. I serve here the motor and it's trying to move forward and it shouldn't be like that. That's why we have a problem with those limit switch and if I have them, uh, I have to use the logical limit switches to make sure I'm really disconnecting the motor from power supply.